today we are doing a video called asking guys questions girls are too afraid to ask so baby okay i'm gonna be asking you a couple of questions that i got from a lot of females myself and a couple of other youtubers females so we're gonna get your perspective on it and you're gonna speak on you're gonna give your perspective for all the guys speak for the feather for the king yep so basically <laughs> yeah we um i have a whole bunch of questions on my phone he's gonna answer them for the guys as a per guy's perspective like we're trying to get the guy's perspective baby don't don't this has nothing related to me or any of that other stuff Ask as answer as if you were single and looking and ready to mingle. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into this video. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure y'all sure leave a thumbs up like. before we get into it. Yep. Also, make sure y'all comment down below with any some more video ideas we can catch y'all for all the dicks y'all been giving us. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, make sure you hit smash the demolish that subscribe button Period. and hit the notification bell. Period. Please. Love okay. y'all. We gonna get right into this video. Okay. We gonna start off with something easy. Something light. Light. Do guys like, prefer shaved or unshaved females? And that means all body parts. Shaved. Shaved? Yeah. Some people, I really don't care. I mean, it's a certain amount. Like, you go like a year without shaving, then, you know. But you, you don't have that problem. This ain't, this ain't <laughs> this about you, this ain't about you. I would say shave, because nobody likes a hairy, hairy female. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> makeup or no makeup? Dang, I feel like that's a personal one. I say no makeup, but from where the world is going, I say makeup for everybody. Everybody likes makeup. I do too, though. A little bit, but I don't like... <laughs> I don't like it. Just take it. Don't taste right. And it, it don't taste much, right. It's just too much fabrication. <laughs> okay, but so I say, I say, I say, speak for everybody. Make they like makeup. I don't per se like a lot of makeup. Okay, for me, I feel like I feel like there's a time and place for it. Like, yeah. if you like wearing makeup every day. Or you like wearing makeup often that's cool you know that's that's you do you boo you know mm -hmm. but if you don't and you like being natural then that's cool too yeah natural mm -hmm. makeup it's neither here nor there but yeah if you i go will wear makeup on both it then it's like mm -hmm. and like right now i have just mascara on i don't mm -hmm. have like makeup thank you you got that natural beauty <laughs> thank you baby but when i get you know when i get to where i when i want to actually wear makeup i'm gonna have like a full face of makeup on Period. <laughs> thick girls or slim girls? Do guys prefer thick girls or slim girls? Thick. Thick. You I think every I guy? I can speak for everybody. On that. <laughs> thick it is. Gotta have cake. <laughs> okay, so I. Okay, this is your, a guy's perspective. So you feel like a guy, every guy likes thick girls? Yeah, like genuine thick, not like. You feel me? It's like a thin line between that and that. It's, I like thick girls, so that's why I'm speaking for y'all. For y'all on that. Thick. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Thick, thick. Okay. So, do you think you just like the body parts that come with thick girls? Like, could you be with a slim girl and they have a big, like, butt or whatever, or they have a figure? Or it just has to be thick girls? That's thick, right? Thick in the right places. Yeah, cause that's what I was gonna say. Cause it, there's a difference. Like, you could be slim and you have a butt and it fits your figure. You know, I don't know. So I'm just okay. I'm just go with what you said. Okay. Do guys prefer stretch marks or? Well, no. Do guys care about stretch marks or scars on a female? Nah, real men don't. Just simple like that. Okay. Nothing else to be said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Girls with long or short hair. Do guys prefer which 
I really don't know. I say either or. I say both, but. These are like superficial questions. <laughs> well, we gonna get deeper. Oh shit! This okay. is just easy. This is just we yeah. easing into it. I say either or. Either or. Mm hmm. I say either or because, like, it really don't matter to me. So I can't even speak for everybody on that one. I feel like that's your personal preference. If you ask me, I say either. I mean either. 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 <laughs> either. <laughs> either or. Okay. All right. So we're gonna get deeper. We're going to go ahead and just seep into some of the juicier questions. Let's do it. What is one thing girls think is attractive, but it's actually a turn off? About men? No, about women. What Wait. Is, what is one thing that girls think is attractive, but guys think is think is a turn off? <laughs> Did y'all think... So basically, stuff y'all think y'all doing is cute, but it's really just unattractive. Yeah, like what is one thing that females may think is cute or gets guys, but it's actually oh, does like the opposite. Showing your body too much that depreciates your value. But a lot of females do that, and they think it's gonna get them somewhere. What what you looking for? But <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna be political. Politically correct, but I'm just saying. You like, say whatever you some want to say, babe. some females think that's gonna get them somewhere by showing their body and all that, but it don't. It it's gonna get you what you attract, but it's not mm -hmm. gonna get you a real man. So basically, what you're saying is, women who show their bodies a lot, it can attract. It can attract the wrong. It's gonna attract what they want, they what they think they want, but it's it's not. It's gonna not gonna be attract what the they right need. thing. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Good to answer, baby. Okay. Here's another deep one. If a girl stays over and has her period on accident, would you ever talk to her again? Yeah, you can't control that. Like in your bed and you're good? Like the sheets and stuff? Yeah. Especially if you like know them and care about them. Okay. What if you don't know them or care about them? You know them, obviously it wouldn't be in your room unless, you yeah, know. Yeah, it depends on your angle, how, how much you truly care about that person if you care about them i mean i feel like that would be that would be a situation for both the men the male and the female but if you truly like care about that person mm -hmm. depending on your feelings then mm -hmm. you would like work with her on that okay and it's not a reason to be like, i ain't gonna talk to her no more nigga. everybody have periods yeah every, every female <laughs> 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 That's really worse. Even they got periods. Yeah, even animals have have cycles. Okay, next question. Is it a turn off when a woman takes her wig off at night? <laughs> so like let's say a woman wears a wig, right? Or your mm -hmm. woman wears a wig, right? And she takes it off at nighttime and you know <laughs> And she just has like the, a bra the braids or whatever, however she has it underneath. Is that a turn off? You had to sit back for this one. That's, a, that's something. I never had to deal with that. I would say, yeah. It's a turn off. You feel like every if it's your, if it's like your woman, no. But if it's like somebody you just met, and then it's like, hold on. <laughs> Even catfish yeah, like what if I came home and I just peeled off my my waves or my, or my braids? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I was bald head, glistening, and everything, the glue. <laughs> that's dirty. Okay. Yeah, that's too that's too much, man. I guess I guess so. What you're saying is like too much for the beginning. You have to actually care about the yeah, woman. Yeah, too much for, for the that. beginning. Okay. okay. You got too comfortable. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> This leads me to something kind of similar. How do guys feel about bonnets and headscarves? Bonnets and headscarves. I like them. You like yeah. them? They stylish. Like that, um, like that, what's that? It's like gold and red and bronze yeah. one. I like that one. I like it. It's kind of like, it's kind of like Durags. how we wear do red. Okay. All right. You're just busting out these answers, babe. Don't chop her over. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Do guys? Okay, here's a deep question. No, Why real killers. Am... Let me know what y'all think. I'm killing these questions. What y'all think? I think you're killing them, baby. What y'all think? I think you're killing them too. Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Okay, easy. baby, this is a deep one. Okay. Why are guys afraid to show their emotions? Mm, I mean, honestly, it's because it was, it's because of how some of us was raised. Mm-hmm. Raised to just be a man, not really, <clears throat> like, verbalize ourselves mm-hmm. emotionally. And just going through traumatic experiences. Everybody goes through traumatic experiences, but female... With females, it's more of an open, like, space for them to be, like, emotional and speak. But some men don't get in touch with that mm-hmm. feminine, that feminine energy and just let that go in a healthy way, a positive way. Okay. So that's why you feel like it, um... Yeah, because, like, when we got first got together, I wasn't really, like, like that. But then you had to, like... I had, it was about trust, too. I had, I had to really trust you. Mm-hmm. And I had to love myself to even let that stuff out. Because sometimes you just don't, you just don't speak on it. Mm-hmm. You know, when you speak on those things, it really hurts you. But having that person to get into is amazing. For real. It's a great answer. For real. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, he's doing, I feel like he's doing wonderful with these questions. I thought um, it was no judge, no judgment. No judgment no at judge all. Judgment no judgment at all. Okay, we're getting down to the couple of last questions. This is the easy one, man. Do guys prefer tomboy, tom girls, like tomboys or girly girls? So not like, not like a. What do you get on me? Like tomboys, girls who mostly like you know they play a lot of basketball, climb the trees with the boys. And... I feel like it depends. That's another one. I don't know. I can't speak for everybody on that one. Mm-hmm. I say be balanced and doing both because mm-hmm. it's like let's say for instance a woman wants like an alpha male right they mm-hmm. want a man who like has value does certain things but then he can also like cook you feel me like mm-hmm. he can throw down in the kitchen or something okay, or like he can like clean up it's like a man won't like a road dog to somebody mm-hmm. to be out there you know it can grind, but then they also want that same thing to like that nurturer and that mother, or you know something like that. So I feel like a balance, balance is key. That's what you are to me. What? Like, I feel like you balance. Like, <laughs> we be doing some things, y'all. <laughs> but like, you could do both. Like, you could do both. Like, so okay. I feel like I feel like yeah. I ain't gonna say too much on that. Okay. All right. I mean, that's that's how you feel, and I'm guessing that's how a lot of guys feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Um. Like I'm in an interview or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. <clears throat> next question. What do guys look for in a girl's personality? Someone that's fun, funny, um, adventurous, caring, sweet. Um, someone that's like strong will and like got their back. Um, look for a woman who, and it depends on the person too. Mm-hmm. Personality, what? I mean, I know what personality is, but what you mean, like some things that they do or just like some character traits? Like someone that's not selfish, like that, or is like someone that can like yeah that that could draw be a personality that could be a personality trait drawing that's not that's, that's like a skill yeah that's like that's yeah that's not a but that would mean that their, their personality is like artsy they might be like yeah. laid back well it's like different archetypes it's like different levels to it yeah so it's not really hobbies and stuff like that so I would just say I would say a woman that is sweet a woman someone that has their back and that's honest. Mm-hmm. Trustworthy, who has integrity, that's a nurturer, and someone that um, can provide for them. Okay. I mean, you know, that's vice versa. But <laughs> same, same too. Okay. 
Amongst other things, that's just off the top of my head, though. Okay. No judgment, that's your answer. Y'all hear it, ladies? I'm just getting the answers out for y'all. Okay. What body part do guys find the most attractive? It can be any. Face. Face? Face. Booty. Okay. <laughs> ta ta. Okay. Well, <laughs> so you're saying if a girl may not have the most attractive face to you. Oh, teeth. Too. Teeth. Eyes. Really everything. A symmetrical face. That leads me to the next question, though. What? Is it? Do guys. Do guys shy away from girls who may not have, like, the whitest teeth, you know? Because I know a lot not of Not people... really, but that that would lead to other things. You, y'all teeth ain't that white, which ain't nothing wrong with that, but if your teeth ain't white, that probably could mean that you don't take care of yourself and your mm-hmm. hygiene. Mm-hmm. So it just depends. It just depends. Okay. That's what I do. I'm speaking for y'all. This, 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 I'm speaking for everybody on this. <laughs> okay. Y'all do y'all video. Let us know what y'all think. Tell me what y'all think, cause that's what I think. So go for everybody. Okay, baby. Um, let's see. This is the last question. It's the last one already. Yeah. Shout out to Charles and Alyssa for this question. Thank y'all. We love y'all, man. Y'all, we see y'all. Y'all doing yeah. big things. Y'all doing y'all thing. Absolutely love it. But. Baby, have you been cheated on before? And how do you think it has affected your future relationships? Your relationships mm. after that? <laughs> yeah, I got cheated on before. Okay. It just make you like that's why that's what people be like, man, it turned me to a savage. Which is immature, but it's like when when I got cheated on it made me like not really trust nobody. And then make me really want to not put my all into, like, the next couple of relationships that came afterwards. And it made you, like, look, it made you want to protect yourself. So that's what man, man, male and female, mm-hmm. but that wasn't a healthy way to deal with it. But that's what people be like, she turned me to a savage. Okay. okay. So, how do you, so, basically, it affected your future relationships. Trust, be, like, with and trust. And trust, okay. And, like. Um, commitment. Okay. Okay. And make your commitment. Excuse me. And make your commitment go down. Okay. So females, males, y'all know. Stop doing that, man. Don't do that. Period. Don't if you don't, do that. if you don't, oh, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if if you don't want to be with the female or you don't want to be with the man, the guy. Don't cheat. Just leave. You know, break up. It's better than to leave the relationship than to hurt that person. You know, to be honest. Cause then exactly. They respect you more for it. Exactly. They may not at that moment because they're obviously going to be hurt. But at the end of the day, I feel like anyone would take that rather than getting cheated on. Because a lot more comes along with when someone cheats. Then it's like that yeah. person questions himself. Well, yeah. I don't know about guys. We it's can do a energy. whole other flip. But mm-hmm. I know for females, that woman may question herself or and see what she well, wonder what she did wrong or you know. And then it's just gonna come back to you. Exactly, and karma too. Energy is ne- neither created nor destroyed. Exactly. So it's like that energy, that same energy, gonna come back to you, and it's gonna stick with her. You never know what that might lead somebody to do. Exactly, and it's gonna come back around on you. It may come back ten times harder because life is not a joke. You know, life is fun. Life can be enjoyed, but if you play around, you you cross a side that you don't want to cross. Too late. You gonna get yeah, get something you you don't want to get. Okay, get rid of. True. And I'll leave that there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and everybody wants somebody they can grow old with too. Exactly. So it's like you just delaying that process exactly. by doing that. Exactly. But. We That's love you guys. It. That's the end of this video. That was my last question. I hope you guys enjoyed fine. this video of yep. basically asking a guy from his perspective, girls questions that they are too afraid to ask or just don't ask or always wanted to know and can't ask somebody. So, if you guys want to see a second part to this More in where we flip time it too. or we and we flip it where I answer some questions that guys want to know, 
that they may be too afraid to act or just can't act. Like this video, sure comment like down it. below, and subscribe to the channel. Hit smash my subscribe button. Exactly. Kings and queens. Yes. We love y'all. We um, love you guys. And if you guys are new to this channel, I'm Jada. I'm Kari. And if you guys are not new to this channel, we just want to say thank you for rocking with us. Love you guys. Man. Yes, and to everyone, we want to say welcome to K the Kingdom. Where everyone is either queen or king. We love you guys so much, and we'll see you guys in the next video.